Hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today we're getting into this look. I'm getting ready for a baby mother concert and I'm super geeked and excited and this is what I came up with for the outlook. Um, after this clip, I'm about to be bald headed, bald headed. So like, don't be shook when like the clip changes and you're like, damn this bitch bald headed. Yes, I'm bald headed. If you want to see the video of me cutting off my hair, go to my channel and watch that. But yeah, so you might be like, oh wow, cool, lots of hair, big hair. And you know, when somebody like has makeup on and they go to another clip and they don't got makeup on no more and they look like a whole different person, that's probably what's going to happen right here, except um, I'm bald headed. So I'm going to just forewarn you, this next clip, I'm going to be bald headed in it. So stay tuned to figure out how I got this hair and this makeup. Bye beautiful. Get away, you big and sick. It's enough for both of us. But since we be in on this bitch shop, then why the them most of us? Okay. <coughs> Hello! We're getting right into it. I do my hair. I'm getting ready for this concert. I'm mad geeked. Like, I woke up so early. For me. I ain't gonna say how early I woke up because it probably wasn't that early. For, like, most people. But, like, for me. It was early. I woke up so early. I just want to tell you what I'm, what I'm doing. I'm gonna do a quick little half up, half down with this um this half wig from Outre, the Outre Dominican Curly. It's my favorite little half wig. And again, I'm bald headed, so I don't know how it's about to work. Cause before I used to just put my hair in a ponytail and wrap the ponytail around the wig's ponytail. That that don't make sense in a second. Let me put some gel in here. I'm gonna put some gel in my part so it'll lay down while I make my part. Okay, but yeah, so I used to, um, let me just put this right here. Okay. I used to just wrap my hair around the ponytail. And, um, that'd be the look. So I don't know how this about to go right now. But we're gonna work it out because this is what my hair look like for this. And I'm just adding a little gel so, like, my part can be more defined because my hair is short. It wants to, like, go everywhere. This part don't got to be straight because the wig is going to cover this up for a for real. So, I don't really care about what happens right here. But again, I'm putting some gel on it. So, uh, the back pieces can stay back and the front pieces can stay front. I'm looking at this mirror. This probably looks so stupid to the camera, but I'm looking at the mirror down here. I don't think I can talk into my hair, so I think I'm going to just speed through this part and talk when it matters because <laughs> I need to focus for this kind of thing. So keep watching and blah, 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 zoom starting now. Now that I've separated the front from the back and I've slicked the back down a little bit so I can focus on this top section, I said my drink gets so crazy because my curls would be all the way down on my scalp. But, um, I don't know what, I have a lot of videos ready to go up, so I don't know what order I'm going to put this in, but in my last video I was saying that I'm growing out my hair for the summer so I can get braids, but then after that I'm cutting it off again. Because I really enjoy my short hair, I love short hair on me. This little in-between stage with no particular style is so ass, but I did miss ponytails so I can't even like be mad about it, so whatever. So, um, if you have longer hair, this will look a lot different for you. Um, again, I usually did this with my longer hair, so. If you have longer hair, that's perfectly fine. This will still work for you. So, just like the top section, you, you section off into a ponytail. 
mine's kind of going to look wonky <laughs> because for real for real i don't think some of these pieces are going to fit into it but i'm going to gel them down really good and i'm going to put on a scarf so they stay i probably need to add more hair okay? i think i'm gonna add some more. <laughs> i'm weak at this right now <laughs> i look like a boy from the 2000s a white boy from the 2000s. <laughs> okay, okay, so I'm gonna add a little more hair to the front. He's over here. Okay, now that my edges are done, um, I'm about to lay this down with a scarf. And I know there's like some straight pieces, but once I lay this down with a scarf for a little bit while um, I do my makeup. Look at my little ponytail, bro. I'm really weak at this, bro. I look like alfalfa, bro. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to keep this in. I don't want nobody sending me for real, for real. <laughs> I'm bald-headed by choice. I by nature don't come for me. Thank you. So, I, have a, I found my satin scarf. Again, I don't know what order these videos are going to go up in, but in my last video I recorded yesterday, I couldn't find my science card. But I found it, bitches, so we're about to throw this bad boy on while we do our eyebrows. And then by the time our eyebrows are done, this should be dry. And I'm going to speed up the process of me doing my... Or I'm just going to come back when my eyebrows are done, actually, because I have a whole eyebrow tutorial. And if you haven't seen that yet, I will leave a card up above below, and it'll pop up now. So if you haven't seen that, watch that. And now that my hand is wiped off, we can go ahead and take our scarf off. Some people can leave theirs on longer, but I don't like the way it feels on my scalp when I leave scarves on. Okay, so, boom. What are we looking like? So now it's time to magically not be bald-headed. So, outro Dominican curly half wig. This is my favorite half wig. This is like my summer curly wig. I fucking love this wig. This is like a summer necessity for real, for real. I think it's only like 20 bucks, bro. Get your hands on it. It's simple as that. So I'm going to put this right where my part starts. And a little bit of, on my hair, too, just for security purposes. And then back of my head, too. This thing is mad tight, too. And now I'm just going to take a few pieces of hair from the front. And I think this is good enough. And then what you do is, let me zoom, can I, okay, so, once you get your little section of hair you want, go ahead and grab it, put it at the base of your, um, your ponytail, and then I just got a rubber band, like a big ass rubber band, because I usually keep these in like the shape for a ponytail, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up, pull through. And then make sure I wrap it around my real ponytail too. Bitch, hello? How did I miss that? <laughs> Tell me why none of that went around. But you know what? It's cool because... You know, whatever. So <laughs> now I'm gonna just uh, open it up a little bit. And usually I'll wrap my hair around it, but you know, I'm bald headed. So for real, for real, it's about to look like this. And nobody gonna beat me up. And nobody gonna see my ponytail. Cause it's little. And I like mine just kind of wild looking. And then, yeah, there's my hair. Boom. Easy. Easy. If you have your hair, honestly, I just wrap it around the real ponytail. But since I'm bald headed right now, you know, whatever, I'll just leave it the way it is. I always say, like, you know, whatever, nobody be my ass. Like, I always just start caring. Like, to be honest, I think I'm about to 
Why does not go around at all? It looks so weird. Okay, I put it around it. I think I'm gonna wrap this hair around it now instead. So I'm gonna grab a few more pieces from the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this around the ponytail. That I got up here. It don't gotta be perfect. Ain't nobody gonna be chass. Okay, so I've got my Take Me to Brazil palette. I just wanna use yellow and like some uh, concealer on my eyes. I'm gonna put some concealer on my eyes so it blacks out like everything else. I should have waited to my hair to the end, but I hate like not having my hair done when I'm beat. I just want to be finished and all put together so I can feel beautiful. You feel me? So now I'm gonna take it dropped. I'm gonna take this LA Colors um, concealer brush and just tap this onto my eye. And we're not gonna set it because what the fuck? Why these straight hair on my face? Yeah, okay, we're not gonna set it. Because I'm going to use my eyeshadow to set it. And I feel like it will come back brighter. This way. Honestly, this isn't supposed to be like the most perfect thing. It's supposed to be messy. I'm just... Oh, I didn't tell you what, I'm, what concert I was going to. I'm going to go see Baby Mother. And if y'all haven't noticed, I mentioned her in like three other videos. I love Baby Mother with my whole heart. And she's opening for Earl Sweatshirt. And I'm just so excited to finally get to see her. You guys have no idea. I hate when people say you guys. Like, I'm talking about that right now. But, like, for real, for real, nobody has, like, no clue how I'm, I'm going to just pack this yellow on my eyelid. And I'm going to pack a lot of it on because I'm not going to use any other shadow. I'm just going to blend out the yellow. But, um, nobody truly, like, understands, bro. Like, I really fucking love this bitch. And I finally get to see her today. Like, I woke up, like I said, I, like I said, I woke up so early today. Like, unusually early. I was just so geeked, like. I'm finally seeing my bitch today, like, in the flesh, like, in person. How ridiculous is that? How fucking crazy. But she always does, like, um, like, one eye one color and one eye another color. And I thought about doing that, too, to, like, pay homage to her. Or not pay homage, like, my girl, like, old or nothing. But just, like, you know, I'm going to see her, like, why not do something that she does. But I think I'm just going to do this yellow instead. If you're not hip to baby mother, I'm gonna try to find a few, uh, like, re not remixes, but like, you know those, uh, Jersey fucking, um, upbeat, what's, what's it called? It's not a remix, it's like, a, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, but like, I'm gonna see if I can find a few things of hers that aren't copyrighted. And try to put them throughout this video, and then I'll link like her actual uh, music down below. Okay, so now that that's on there, I'm going to take this, I hope it's clean, this NYX blending brush and just blend out the edges. I'm just trying to see if it's clean first. Maybe, I think. I think. The only thing I hate about this yellow eyeshadow is like it starts out really bright like on this eye. It's super bright and then it just slowly doled out. But I'm going to try to add more and stuff. Adding more yellow now. I'm just gonna keep adding and blending, and that's gonna be what's happening right now.
But yeah, this is super easy, like one shadow, two brushes. Super easy. I have a monochromatic um, blue look already on my channel. If you guys wanna look that up as well. I wanna talk so bad, but I don't even know what to talk about. Cause like, I'm just excited, like. <laughs> Like, for real, for real, I'm just mad excited to be even in this bitch's presence. So, when I say listen to her every day, like, I listen to her every day. So, just to be able to see somebody listen to you every day in person is just really crazy. Like, wow, you're a real person, for real. <laughs> like, you exist outside of my phone and my headphones. How fucking wild. <laughs> also, I really want to talk about my skincare routine right now. Because it's been working so well, but I'm not gonna talk about it until this dark mark goes away. And it's almost gone, but I won't like tell y'all exactly what's happening before I can like prove that it works, you know? So. And I can't wait to share what's really going on because my skin lately has been amazing. Like, I'm so acne prone. And I haven't been getting many breakouts. Like, every now and again, I get one. And I just got, like, I got hormonal breakouts from like my period and stuff. I think this is good enough um, for our period and stuff. So other than that, like my skin has looked so good in my dark marks. Other than that and my dark marks, like my skin is really doing a damn thing right now. Ooh, sis. So I've got this BH Cosmetics um, liquid eyeliner. It's a felt tip. And I don't really want to do like a wing. I just want like an exaggerated line, if that makes sense. It'll make sense when I do it. One of those, like a, a thick line. Boom. There we go. Another eye. So my favorite long wearing foundation is the Smashbox Studio Skin. It's 15 hour wear. And to be honest, it should be 24 because... I, I wore this back in high school when I was on drill team. I would go all day in school. Here's the bottle, by the way. It's kind of dirty. Um, I would go all day in school with this on. I would go to the football game, dance the entire game, come home, still matte, still beat. This, I think it's a $45 foundation, but girl, it is worth every single penny. And I've had the same bottle since high school. I mean, I don't wear this very often. I only wear it when I need it for long wearing times but it always comes through for the long wearing times always the worst part about this fucking dark mark is that it doesn't get hidden for nothing like like under makeup it just always seems to peek its way through like bitch go away what do you want me to do to make you go away bro like you're not even paying rent and you're just here in my face for free So now, I keep almost falling. So now I'm gonna take, oh also I just wanna mention really quick, um, that foundation is like really light to medium, super buildable, like really recommend it. And I'm a full coverage kind of person, so. But okay, so now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Medium Beige. And just concealing underneath my eyes. And I'm going to let my nose sit a little longer again because I have this fucking dark mark there that doesn't seem to want to go away. So I just want to let that chill out there. Like, I'll set my whole face and everything and I'll leave that there. I want to do another chit chat. You ready with me? And this, this was supposed to be one, but like, 
I'm always in a rush when I'm supposed to be recording videos. Like, I don't know how people delegate time aside just to simply record videos. Like, people just get ready for no reason. Like, I'd be actually getting ready <laughs> when I'd be like, get ready with me. Like, I'm actually fucking getting ready. Like, 20, like, all, every single time I say I'm doing get ready with me, like, I'm literally getting ready. Like, and I know some people that do YouTube just get ready for, like, the video or whatever. But, like, for real, for real, I'm getting ready. So, like... <laughs> I'd be rushing everything, and I don't think it, like, I don't know, it never turns out too good. Like, I'm not rushing right now, but I know I have places to be, so I can't really focus on what I want to say, and when I get passionate about stuff, I just want to sit and talk about it, and talk about it, and talk about it, and talk about it, and I can't really do that when I'm in a rush, so, yeah, so when I set aside time to actually, you know, have time <laughs> to do stuff like that, and, like, not be so rushed all the time, I definitely will be doing that soon, so, you know, um, follow me on Instagram at Beauty via Julia. There should be a screenshot on the screen right now. Julia, put a screenshot on the screen right now of your, your Instagram. And there'll also be a link in the bio so you don't gotta type it in. There's always my um, socials in my bio, but definitely um, follow my Instagram because I wanna like the day of my um, I do my shit chat, get ready with me. I wanna have like topics to talk about. Cause I have a few, but I don't know, they might be like old news now. Since, like, you know, I haven't talked about him yet. So, now instead of a brush, I'm gonna use this LA Girl concealer brush again, and I'm just gonna tap this in so gently so I can cover this up as best as I can. But somehow, some way, just always pokes through. So, if you guys have any, like, dark spot remedy, um, suggestions that'd be great because i'm literally trying everything i can <laughs> and it won't go away it, it's, it's staying and i've had this for months and i want it to go away and it won't fucking leave so and then i kind of said it a little bit kind of half-assed so it's down a little bit okay now my favorite part it's my favorite part Bronzer time! It's when the face comes together. I want to try those new Fenty bronzers, but I just feel like my NYX one is doing the job for like, what is it, $7? Something like that. She's doing the job for $7. I think she's going to keep doing the job for $7. No. I haven't purchased like any Fenty at all for real for real. That's kind of sad, isn't it? I need to support my girl Ree. I just I just enjoy using cheaper makeup because like I feel like it's it's better for everyone else. Like again, having a YouTube channel. I didn't say that. Well, I'll say again like I said this before. Okay, having a YouTube channel, like it's easier for me to, to have more affordable options because everybody else is just talking about the all the expensive shit they bought and like you know, the odds are the average person can't afford a Marc Jacobs foundation or a Tom Ford foundation, like, or even like this Smashbox foundation. It's just an investment. That's why, like, like you don't have to. If anything, you can get the Maybelline Super Stay. That stays super well as well. So you know, don't think because you can't afford the more expensive ones that you don't have any options. Because there's always options, definitely. So I'm gonna highlight using my highlighter. But see, like, e even still, you can still see my dark mark. Like, bruh, <laughs> go away. This is my highlight in the shade Golden Girl. And it's super glowy, and we're in stock. And my website is jlscosmetics.us. And the link is always in the description box. And there's not much to say about this. It speaks for itself. I'm going to go ahead and put on my cheek real quick so you can... That was a light washing. I don't even need a lot to to do much. I've honestly had the same container for like two months. So honestly, ten dollars is such a steal. So now I'm gonna add some lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, eyelash trick. If you haven't seen the eyelash trick yet, this is all it is. All I do is put my eyelash glue on my eye. And 
and literally I won't even speed this up. Like, let me go grab my lashes real quick. I won't, I won't even edit this out. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna talk while I grab my lashes so you know I'm not fucking lying about how easy this is. Okay, grabbing my lashes. Here I am. I grabbed them. I'm back. Okay. So let me put on the other eye real quick. Boom, here's my lashes, and I don't even need tweezers, and I got nails, so I just go, boop, boop. Of course, when I say boop, boop, I don't want to go boop, boop, but usually go boop, boop. Promise. Boom, lashes on. Super easy. If you haven't integrated this, integrated this trick into your life, I strongly suggest you do so. This is such a game changer. Again, other side, the fucked up side. We're gonna go boop, boop. Boop, boop. And then the lashes are on. Why well, after I turn off the camera, I just put these on so easy. Like I didn't have the camera off for like but two seconds and I was done. But I think I'm almost done with my, my look. Um, I think I'm gonna add a nude gloss on instead of this one. Because I just want like an opaque nude happening, not just my lips. So let me go grab my NYX Butter Gloss. And I can't wait to like be able to make a gloss that's opaque and thick. Um, it's really hard to make glosses like this because I'm making them myself. I don't have like the factory supplies and tools. But I really hope one day I can get to this level. I really want something like this for myself. Okay, so um, I think I'm done, and my lash is stuck to my other lash. Cool. Okay, so I think I'm done. Let's turn my lights down. I feel like they're drowning me out a little bit. Okay, so I think I'm done. It's the final look. I got some yellow eyeshadow, a little bit of highlight, a little bit of lash, and so I'm gone. Um, I think that's all I got for you. If you liked this, leave a like. Leave a comment. Um, I'll probably have... Um, some videos play after this of the concert and like of what I wore and stuff So if you care stick around to see that and if you don't then it was cool that you stopped by Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video Bye and stay tuned for the videos of the concert and my outfit